So this is a quick update for you guys. Uh, bridging off a previous video that I did about creating a neutrally lit scene, there have been um, a few changes in the uh, rendering backend of 422 um, and probably in subsequent ones um, that there's one minor setting that you need to change to get yourself a truly neutrally lit scene. So again, all the principles I, uh, I covered in the previous video absolutely apply. You can use the exact same things, but we wanna change one additional thing. So. Before I show you where those settings are, I'm gonna show you what it is that we're trying to achieve. So if I go underneath my show post-processing and turn off my uh, tone mapper, you'll see that the results that we get are a much more neutrally lit scene. So I'll turn it on, turn it off, so you can kind of see what happens here. Um, so ultimately what we're trying to do is achieve what tone mapper turned off is, but do it in our post-processing volume. Um, and of course you probably ask the question, why not just do it here disabled? Uh, the reason for that is every time you restart the editor, it'll be on. Um, not to mention if you're sharing projects or collaborating, everybody else in your team is going to have tone mapper enabled, so you don't want to tell them, hey, each time go in, turn it off. Um, so it's much easier to do that if we do it through our post-processing volume. Now, one caveat to this is that I still haven't figured out, now I've checked with some of the Epic people as well to see if they can help out, um, and they're not 100% sure. There's no way to fully get the post-processing volume exactly on point with disabling tone mapper, um, but I think I found the settings that get you pretty, pretty close to that. So. I'm gonna select my post-processing volume. Again, set up the exact same way we did it in the previous video with our exposure set to min and max of one. But the settings I wanna change, there's three of them and they're all within the film area. So in film, I'm gonna change my slope to 0.6, my toe to 0.5, and my shoulder to 0.25. Um, so by changing those three settings, that gets us really, really close to what the scene will look like without tone mapper enabled. So again, quick update, that's what you guys should be able to do if you want a truly lit scene um, and still be able to control it through your post-processing volume. So I hope that helped. I'll catch you on the next one.